Hello and welcome to Sound Insight. Today we get the second part of Vienna Ensemble Pro. A lot of people ask me how to connect the master and the slave computer. Well, that's very easy. We got to use two computer and one network cable. It's great that the operating system doesn't matter. So you can connect a Windows PC to a Windows PC or Windows to Apple. When you work with a lot of slave computers, you can use a network hub. Let's see how the slave has been shown. I didn't start VN Ensemble on the master. So now we add VN Ensemble Pro. And now I see the slave PC. And as you see, you can see the IP address. And that is very important because you mustn't change this IP address. When you change this IP address, the computer can't find the real instances of Vienna Ensemble Pro and you got to reconnect all instances. So now I can connect and that's all. There can be a few traps, for example, firewalls or virus systems. Now I start Vienna Ensemble Pro at the master computer. When I create an instance at here, I can see it at this plugin. This is called Epiano on the master, this at the slave. A lot of people ask me how many USB dongles they got to use. Well, you got to use a dongle at every computer where you are running Vienna Ensemble Pro server the standalone version. You don't have to use the dongle for running the plugin by itself. So I use Vienna Ensemble Pro at my master and my slave. So I got to use two dongles. But when you use it just at your slave, you just have to use one dongle. But a few people are running Mia at their master. So they got to use Two dongles too. But how can I see what's going on at my slave PC? Well, I could use a hardware switch in front of me, but I don't use it since a few years. Or I could use remote control, but I don't have Windows Professional. And now I use TeamViewer. And this is great because I can use Apple and Windows. And I can connect to my PC from everywhere over the world, just having internet in TeamViewer. Now you can see all my PCs. And in here, we can see the slave PC. And I can go back to my master. That's very easy. For a great performance, two things are very important. First, you got to have everywhere the same software version. And second, the same settings for MIDI ports, audio outputs, and audio inputs. Now let's check it at the slave. And you can see this is not the same. So now I change it at here. Well, what's going on? Here it is. Yeah, that's better. Have fun with it and see you in the next time.